Well, I have had one fuck of a day, I'll tell you that. Just bought this thing. Oh, God. 1965 GMC, 930. 250 Street 6. Um, it's quite the adventure getting her home. We had to re-bolt the, like, hook the motor back up to the transmission because it wasn't bolted together for whatever reason. I don't fucking know. Got the thing going. Threw Rad back in it just to get her to, to get her to move. And she starts right up. I'll, uh, fire up the clutch. It's got a brand new clutch in it that is insanely finicky. Like, brand fucking new. Today was the first day it started on the new clutch because I guess the guys the guys got three of them and I guess he put a clutch into it and then lost interest. I don't know, but just have a key in her here. She's got a bit of a rough idle, but I think she just needs a couple turns on the old screw to clean her up. I got some other plans for this truck, but the reason I'm saying I had a real fuck of a day is because I guess when you buy a new truck, your old one that says fuck you, and this thing just spit a starter out on me. The starter top, I don't know if you'll see it on the video, but the top ear of the starter right in here completely broke. So now the starter is like loose. Like I can grab a hold of the starter here and, and wiggle it. It's hot as fuck right now because I just parked it, but... What are the odds? Same fucking day. Spend all day messing around with this fucking thing. And then get into my truck and it fucking spits out a starter. But that's the cost of doing business. So my plans for this truck is I found a box for it. Actually, my mechanic has a has a 1960s box just hanging out in his backyard. So I'm going to be... I don't know why the video is being so goddamn shaky and fucking around but i'm gonna rip this old steak box off and there's a hydraulic cylinder under there and shit but it's i'm getting rid of all that i'm gonna swap it to be single wheel i don't know if that means i need to put in like different rear axle under it but then i got this i, I think i'm gonna use these guys here on it if they'll fit i believe it's a eight by six five on the old truck and then this fucking unit is gonna go in there 98 24 valve 53 block Cummins. That's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. And I'm going to throw a set of huge injectors on it. Edge comp box. Detroit 60 series turbo likely. And just make all of the fucking horsepower. That's kind of the goal. And just build some sort of fucking time bomb. Out of this piece of shit engine that I got for next to nothing. Look at the fucking mouse. Just running around in the fucking dash. Nice. Fuck yeah. So that's the plan. With this, uh, this unit. And I wonder how many more fucking mice are in this piece of shit. Just living in that destroyed dash. Anyway. So yeah, I, I got the rest of the front end parts for this guy. I just haven't brought them around and laid them out yet but I, it's it's a complete truck but the first thing is ripping that fucking steak box off i gotta find some old shitty west coast mirrors or something to jam on there and and then i also got to figure out what the fuck this hooks up to because i have no power brakes at all and like so i basically have no brakes i i don't know enough about these to know where this hooks up to i gotta do some research on it i've only had this thing home for about an hour I'm curious if it maybe hooks into the air cleaner, which I'm going to put back on here in a minute. So I've just been playing around with it. Got the fenders bolted back up. Got one of these side uh, panels here bolted back on. Just kind of playing around with it. Trying to make it look kind of like a truck again. And I want to see what kind of stuff works. So I know what wiring issues I have to sort out. But there's not really much going on for wiring on this whole truck. Like this is pretty much all of it. And then there's a couple here. This little plug here for the turn signal. One that goes across. And is right here. And that's the plug for the other turn signal thing on this side, which is over there. Inner fender's hood. Um, was wire to the starter. Ground. This is your main fucking power wire right here. Ground there. That's about it. Haven't gone through everything to see what all works yet, but the wipers work. Um, 
there's the thing here i don't know if the pump works for the sprayer or anything yet but like just still going through everything to see what what works and what doesn't because there's another orange wire back here that i need to figure out which is probably your my, my blower motor um the blower motor wire not sure what these guys do but we're getting there just wanted to kind of throw it back together and then i can yank that box off this steering shaft is uh the steering box has a lot of play in it so i'm gonna have to do something about that I do have a steering box that might fit this actually. I need to look into that. A steering box out of a like 70s style truck because it's like crazy how much how much play that is. But yeah, all in all, um I'm gonna try and get a little bit more done on it. I've been going over everything. These fenders definitely need work. The rest of the cab is solid. Just these fenders need some love. Or I might see if I can just find two different ones. Need the windshield. Um I need to figure out something for these vacuum brakes. I will get on that. That's kind of my, one of my priorities here. Figure out where that hooks into, get it hooked back up so that at least it has brakes. Cause I'd like to get it on the road with this motor in it. If I planned it, cause I plan on, I kind of planned on leaving this motor in it for the time being, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I need to, uh, I need to figure that out, but yeah, so here's a bit of a timepiece. Um, this is from Fast Gas Crossroad Service in Lacombe, Alberta. Uh, what is that? June 21st, 2016. They bought, I don't know what that is, 30 bucks worth of gas and two packs of fucking Next Red King. So I know this truck came from out west, so it came in 2016 i guess would be my guess it's probably i don't know why the thing is on the truck unless somebody drove it part way back or something but fucking window doesn't close or something wrong with the track it keeps fucking off towards the inside so i'm just not gonna open that but it is what it is so next day fucking around um Swapped the wheels on it last night because those Widowmaker steel rims are junk. Just wanted to get rid of those. and These ones fit, which is mint. Um, we were fucking around with the headlights and stuff. None of the headlights are working. The only light that works on the whole truck is one fucking tail light. I'm going to do a box delete here shortly because this is all rotten. I fell through it last night. Yeah, the one tail light, that one there is the only one that works. <clears throat> Only light that works on the whole fucking track, which is just odd to figure this one away from the thing is the only one that has an intact fucking wire. But yeah, I might get to some more shit on it today, but I also got to fix the starter on that truck, so yeah, 